the day we celebrate the first glorious anniversary of the information purification. created for the first time in all history a garden of pure ideology. talk about the Alpha Omega Epsilon deck, newly released. This deck's been in the making for two years. It's been through a lot of tests. The hardest part was definitely finding that right manufacturer. The problem with finding the right manufacturer is, after we're done welding, it tends to lose 80% of its strength. To regain that strength, you have to heat it up with several thousand degrees. So after we weld it, we have to heat treat it. After the heat treatment, we have to drop it in the oil bath to restore its hardness so we get full strength back in the deck. So we ended up settling down with one of the leading BMX manufacturers. And you already know BMXers, they also already put things to the test, so they already pretty much got a lot of the hard work out. So you know this deck's gonna hold up. So now we're gonna talk about the features of the deck. So we have an integrated head tube with added material so that the cu cups don't overlap. Also, see we got a cool little cutout here to save weight, as well as an 82.5 head tube angle for comfort. The back axle is capable of holding up to 110 millimeter wheels, and it comes with a 12.9 grade bolt, which is the highest and strongest possible bolt. Deck also comes with a stainless spring steel flex fender brake with an arc feature, so it doesn't put flat spots in your wheels. So now moving on to the most important feature of the Alpha Omega deck that sets us aside from every other deck company out there. The infamous sole frame. The sole frame is made from super tough nylon. With the sole frame, you can grind various types of ledges and you get more control on rails as well as it provides protection for your deck and it doesn't vandalize ledges. It also has a front plug. The front plug is used for making nose blunts easier compared to other decks where it almost seems like you have to shave down the metal in order to get those nose blunts just right. As well as the rear plugs. The rear plugs help give it that flush and real smooth finish as well as stops the back end of the deck from bending or being you know, misshaped or deformed. The best part about the grind plates and plugs is that they're all fully replaceable. They're all pretty affordable and you don't have to replace the whole deck. And if you want to change up your style a little bit, grind plates come in all types of colors. You got like red, you got blue, you got green. So that wraps it up for the newly released Alpha Omega Epsilon deck. 
Strongly recommend it for my street riders, but it's just as fun in the park. Definitely go out and get your grind on.